What is that? What is that? Zips? He wants to open his mommy's gifts first. What's your first present? Zips. Hey, I found I found it at Dollar Tree, and they have those at Walmart and Target for like six or seven dollars each, and it was at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So. I have no clue, but it was a dollar versus seven at Target, so if he doesn't like it, it was only a dollar. Who's that from? Whoa. I got $20. You're rich. Read it, Ryan. Let me open that. Did you read the card, though? You got to read it. I have to? Yeah. He's like, I only take the money out of it. Happy birthday, my friend, from Elon. Go with us. Yay. Yay. Look, Ryan, Julian said, um, give me you a gift. He wants you to open it. Okay. Did you say thank you to Elon and Finn? Thank you, Elon and Finn. Ooh, Spider-Man. Ooh. I love Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. You love chalk. <laughs> Is that Ryan's world? Yeah, I love it. It's so funny every time. You. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ryan. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. What are you guys doing? You know how mommy and daddy's is touch screen? You got a touch screen watch now. Yeah. And you can take videos and pictures. Yeah. What kind? Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> I, and, and I especially love the dinosaurs on it. Happy birthday. I love you. Thanks. Can we open my surprise now? Sure. So you have birthday to your birthday. So happy birthday to your jolly <laughs> brother. Hey guys, so it is currently 8.15. I'm waiting to drop Madison off at school. I figured I would vlog a little bit today. I tried my best to vlog for Ryan's um, birthday, but I always forget to vlog. And I think the only clips I got were the clips I did on Instagram, my um, Instagram stories. If you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, definitely follow me over there because I do a lot of like stories over there. So um, I'll probably insert the clips that I got from my Instagram story so you guys can see a few clips of his birthday, but it was super fun. It was his first ever sleepover. I'll talk to you guys a little more about it once I get back home, but it is currently, like I said, 8.15. It is Tuesday. I'm gonna vlog a little bit today and then um, try to upload this sometime this week because I've been really horrible with uploading. I think last week I only got two videos up. I haven't uploaded on my cleaning channel for like three weeks and then this week so far I haven't uploaded anything. So I need to get a video up for you guys. I figured I would go ahead and vlog for you guys. And I'm also gonna talk to you guys about my cleaning channel because I don't know what I'm really gonna do with it. So I'll talk to you guys about that as well. But are you ready for school, Maddie? Say hi, are you ready? Is the time change getting you so tired? Are you so tired from the time change? Yeah? Are you talking to them? What are you saying? Can you say hi? Say happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> You're cute. All right, guys, so I'm just going to wait here for another few minutes. The teachers come out at 820 to get Madison, so I'm going to wait here for a few more minutes. I need to run into Kroger, which is right across the street. The teacher needs more gloves, but I can't find any gloves from this whole virus that's going around. I went to Walmart and I went to Target. They had no gloves, so my last try is going to be um, Kroger. I also went to Dollar Tree and they didn't have gloves as well. So I'm going to run into Kroger, see if they have gloves, and then um, if they do, then I'll run back across the street to drop them off to her teacher and then head back home and then I'll probably fix up my hair. I didn't do my hair this morning. I just did my makeup and then I'm gonna go to the gym and then I don't know, I'll probably do some cleaning in the house as well because my cousin's getting here in like two days. So I need to clean the house as well. So I don't know exactly all that we're gonna do today but I'll try to take you guys along with me. So I'll see you guys once I get back home.
I am now in Target. I already worked out and went to my workout class, but they still have a few things on clearance here at Target as far as toys. I am filming a Easter basket idea for kids. That'll be up probably after this vlog, but I want to show you a few things that is on clearance. I found this Blowfish um, little game and it was originally $20 on clearance for six dollars so they have a few toys i'm going to be showing a few of these things in the easter basket idea because i think they're great deals since it is on clearance that you can just throw in the kids easter basket but i am here at target i'm gonna try not to do too much damage but i need to pick up a few things but i thought i would show you guys really quickly what they have on clearance at target because it'll be a few days before i get up my easter basket shop with me now obviously i want you guys to take advantage of these deals so i'm gonna show you guys really quickly what they have called giddy up game it was originally 15 on clearance for 448 it says for ages six and up i think that's really cute especially for little girls and then this game that i just showed you guys which is called a blowfish blow up game it was originally 20 and 10 clearance for six dollars so that was a really great deal as well they also have this fortnite toy if you guys have kids who are into fortnite it was originally 13 on clearance for 388 and then i also found this game it's called the face it challenge the tonight show with jimmy fallon that was originally 20 it's on clearance for six dollars so they have a few things they have a little end cap over here with a few more things I showed you guys in the Easter basket um, idea, but this is $7 originally at 10 so they have not much, but they do have a few toys left. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly, and this was originally $15 on clearance for $7.48, so they have a few things still on clearance if you guys need to get some toys. I'm in the little girl section right now and you guys I am obsessed with all of these dresses. I'm definitely going to get some of these for Madison whenever I go spring and summer shopping for $15. I think that is so cute. Sometimes this is super tight around her stomach so I would have to like go a size up but I think they are so cute. They're starting to pull out a bunch of spring stuff and I love this dress as well. I think these are so cute. I'm not sure if we're going anywhere for spring break or the summer but these dresses are so cute you guys and right now everything is 20% off for women's and girls dresses so definitely take advantage of you guys 20% off you guys I'm in the little girl section and I'm obsessed with everything I seriously want to buy everything I don't know when I'm gonna go spring and summer shopping for the kids but they have so much spring stuff out for the kids like this outfit for Madison I think she would look so cute and everything is 20% off right now and they also have it in yellow I really I think she would look really cute in yellow. They have a lot of dresses as well, I showed you guys. And then some bathing suits. Here are some bathing suits, so cute. The kids also don't have rain jackets and it's been raining so much here in Georgia, I should probably get them one, but this little girl one is cute, it's 18. And then they have this one. It's like a little bunny, oh great, I just knocked that down. It has like a little bunny hoodie, that's really cute. And that one's also $18.99. All right, guys, so I am now back home. It is around noon. I had to leave at two to get the kids from school, but I'm gonna see if really quickly I can um, take these horrible nails off. So yesterday I tried to do my nails at home. I want to do some dip nails, but the kit that I have for my dip nails, two of the bottles, I cannot open the activator and then the, the gloss part. For some reason, it's just sealed shut. I don't know if some of the, like the gloss polish and also the activator just dried out on the cap but i have tried everything i tried running it under hot water i tried banging it on the table i tried using pliers my teeth i had my husband try to open it and nothing is working so i try to use this um kiss kit that i had it wasn't technically a dip kit but the activator part was pretty much the same thing as the dip um nail part except there was no like gloss to it so i tried to use that it did not work out um this is how it turned out on camera it doesn't look as bad as in person but in person it is so lumpy and it looks horrible it looks like my five-year-old tried to do this to my nails so i need to take these off but it's going to take like 20 minutes to dip in acetone and scrape it off i also have fake nails as a tip because my nails are so short right now so it's going to take a really long time to take these off so i'm going to try to take these off really quickly and then i have some press-ons some press-ons i've never tried that i want to go ahead and try out so I'm gonna try those out and hopefully I have enough time to do that because I also have to 
run back to Kroger because as soon as I left Kroger this morning, my husband said that he needed his medication to be picked up and I had already gotten home. So now I have to go back to Kroger and I have to do that before I pick up the kids from school. So I'm gonna try really quickly to take off these horrible nails. I love the color, it's a beautiful color. I just needed to find um, another dip kit. I know Walmart had some by Kiss as well, but it was specifically dip nails and I can't find it anymore. They have not had it in stock for a few weeks. So I'm gonna keep on looking for that and the next time it'll come out better because I'll actually use a kit that's specifically for dip. And then I can use this color again because I really love this color. I just don't like the way it turned out. So take these nails off and then go to Kroger. I did go to Target as you guys can see in the previous clips. And then the rest of the day, honestly, we're just gonna wing it. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Madison does have therapy. So we'll see what we get into, but I'm not going to film myself taking it off, but I'll probably film myself doing um, the press-ons and I'll show you guys what it looks like, but go ahead and take these off and then I will see you guys in a little. All right, so five hours later, I finally got the nails off. So it took about like 20 minutes for me to soak it in pure acetone and then I scraped it off. It was really easy to scrape off. And then I also, um, I don't even know what my buffer is. I'm so out of breath. I just went downstairs, but I took the buffer and I just buffed my nails to make sure all the glue was off because if not, then the nails won't stick to it. So now I'm gonna do the fake nails. I've never tried these nails. I found them at Target and they're called Clutch Nails Pink Ombre. So it has 24 reusable coffin nails. So it says they stay, you slay. So I thought they were really pretty. My lighting is horrible. You guys can hardly see it, but I'm gonna try these out. I don't think I'm gonna use the glue in here. I'm not 100% sure, maybe I will. I like the Kiss glue just because I know the Kiss glue works really well and it stays on super long, but maybe I'll just test out this glue and see how it works. If they end up popping off, then I'll go ahead and just use the Kiss glue, but I'm gonna go ahead and put these nails on really quickly because it is already 12.35 and I have to leave soon to go to Kroger and then pick up the kids and also eat lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these nails on. I'll show you guys how they look. hours later and I am now in Ryan's carpool lane. It is 210 to be exact. I had to stop by Kroger like I said before I came to pick him up from school. I didn't have time to put away the dishes in the dishwasher so I'm going to do that once I get back home. But I want to show you guys a few bars that I got from Kroger. So this is one of my favorite bars. They're called Go Macro Bars. They're high in protein and I've tried probably like five different flavors and I have not found a flavor that I've hated. I love all the flavors, but I got this coconut almond butter and chocolate chip one just because I think I only have one or two left in my pantry. And these are like my go-to snacks, like when I'm running errands or just when I don't wanna go binge on something super unhealthy, I'd rather have this. So these are super delicious. I always have one in my bag. And then I grabbed this no cow protein bar. I tried one other one of this no cow one. I think it was like a sticky, it was called sticky Cinnabon, something like that. And it was pretty good. It wasn't as good as the Go Macro bars, but it still was pretty good. So I decided to try this peanut butter chocolate chip one. And this one's dairy free, 21 grams of plant protein. And this only has one gram of sugar, which is amazing. So I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed two other bars that I've never had before, but I have a super sweet tooth and I love like gummies and stuff like that, but I'm trying to stay away from that. Um, even though I love the smart sweets, but I didn't buy that this week. So I decided to grab these just to see if I like it. They were two for $3 and they're called That's It. And this only has one apple and 12 strawberries and literally that is it. If you look at the ingredients in the back, 
it literally just says apples and strawberries there's no added ingredients no added sugars or anything else so i thought that was cool and this was only 100 calories so i grabbed this one like i said this one has apples and strawberries and then this one only has apples and blueberries and this is also 100 calories so like i said those were or these were two for three dollars so once I really want something super sweet, I'm going to try one of these and hopefully they are good. I'll let you guys know how I like them. But now that I'm in the carpool lane, I'll probably snack on this. And I brought my water and then I have to write my grocery list. I'll be going grocery shopping in like another day or so. So I like to plan out like everything. So I need to do my grocery list and I'll be sitting here for probably another 15 minutes before Ryan comes out. I have to get here super early just because carpool lane gets really crazy, crazy long and if I didn't have to pick up Madison from a different school, honestly, I would be that parent that did not show up until like after the bell rang just because the carpool lane is so long and I hate sitting in this carpool lane. Like last year when Madison wasn't in school, I wouldn't get here until after the bell rang just so I can get through quicker. But now that Madison is in school and she's in a different school, I have to be one of the first cars in the lane or I will be late to pick her up from school because I literally have maybe like six seven minutes to get to her school after i pick him up so i have to be in the front of the line so unfortunately i have to be one of the parents who is just sitting here but anyways i'm gonna snack on my protein bar and then once i get back home i'm gonna show you guys those sunglasses that i was telling you guys about and then i'm gonna put away some dishes and then i don't know how much more i will vlog but we'll see how much more footage i get all right so clearly i am now back home from picking the kids up from school but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the sunglasses that i've been telling you guys that i want to show you but first i didn't even show you guys my nails I completely forgot but this is how my nails turned out now they were longer than what I would have preferred so I did cut them down and then I also filed them just because they were just way too long for my liking if you guys like super long nails and you guys probably would like it just as is but for me especially as a mom too I can't have super long nails so I did cut them down and file them so now these were much harder to stick on with that glue um that it came with i feel like the kiss nail glue i don't have to hold on for that long or press down for that long or press down as hard with this glue i feel like i did have to hold it down for much longer than what i have to do with the kiss glue and also i did have to add a little more glue than what i usually would do but i feel like they are pretty sturdy they will stay on for a while so this is how it turned out looks so much better than what i had before like I said before, in the camera, it didn't look as bad as in person, but in person, believe me guys, it looked horrible. So we'll see how long these last. Kiss nails usually will last me a week, if I'm lucky, a week and a half. So we'll see how long these last, but so far so good. I really like them. But anyways, now I'm gonna show you guys the glasses. So this company is called Soho. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Some people say Soho, some people say Sojo. It's spelled S-O-J-O-S. -O so. I'm just gonna go with Soho's. Um, they are an eyeglass company. They have blue blocking light glasses and then they also have just regular like sunglasses. So I did get five pairs of sunglasses and then one pair of the blue blocking light um, glasses. Now they are not prescribed the blue blocking light ones. They are just the blue blocking light glasses. Um, but I still want to get a pair of those just because I am on the computer a lot. I am on my phone a lot and stuff, especially since I'm always editing and filming. So I figured having those glasses, even though they're not prescribed, would be great just to wear them while I'm on my tablet or anything on my um, computer and stuff and also when watching TV. So I have one pair of that and then the rest are sunglasses. So I'm gonna try them all on. I am gonna be linking all these pairs of sunglasses and then these blue blocking light glasses down below if you guys are interested. And I will also link down the company's website down below for you guys to check them out. And quick FYI, I am not sponsored by this company nor will I be getting any type of commission. So if you guys could any of the links down below where you guys decide to purchase anything from them i'm not getting anything out of it i'm just reviewing it for you guys now i did get these glasses gifted to me but like i said it is not sponsored nor will i get any type of commission but let's start off with the blue blocking light glasses since i only got one pair now, first, first off i want to talk about the packaging the packaging is awesome they packaged it really well so these are not going to get damaged when they are getting delivered to you and shipped to you which i really like they're not going to get scratched because they packaged it so well so this is what the box looks like for the blue blocking light ones it's just a white box and then you pull out and then you have the glasses inside and the glasses are in a little bag so they won't get scratched i also like they said extra like screws just in case it comes loose or you need to tighten it you do have extra screws 
to put in your glasses. It looks like it came with four extra screws, which I think is awesome. So I like that it also came with a case that you can hold the glasses in and then also came with a cloth to clean the glasses. So I thought that was really awesome that they sent that as well. And then all the way in the bottom, it sends you the tools to tighten or loosen the glasses for the screws. And then also came with this blue light. So you guys can see that is blue blocking the light. I thought was awesome as well. So that's all the little accessories it came with. Now I'm gonna try on all the glasses for you. So I'm gonna try on these. I was able to choose which ones I wanted. I decided to go with these. I usually back in the day would always go for just like traditional square ones, but I decided to go with these round ones. And I think they are so pretty. They're like a turtle um kind of design and then it's gold. And then I just, I don't know, I just really, really loved it. So it's gold on the side, the turtle round lenses. And then it does have the soft little, I don't know what these are called, but the little, little soft part that goes on your nose. So. This is how it looks. I do wish they were prescribed, but either way, I really love them. I like the style of them. I didn't know how it would look on my face, but after trying them on, I really like how they look. So this is how the first blue blocking light one looks like. Like I said, no prescription, just blue blocking light, but I absolutely love it. So all the other glasses are gonna be sunglasses and they all came in a black case like this. And then it has a little tab right here that you can pull it out. So pull it out and the sunglasses actually come even tripled um, package. So it comes in that black box and then it also comes in this little case right here. It's like a magnet case. So it shuts like that. And then on top of that, it comes in a Ziploc bag. So definitely your glasses are not gonna get damaged or scratched when delivered to you. So this is the first pair of sunglasses that I have. They're kind of similar to the pair of blue blocking light ones that I have. It's like round with a gold trimming and then kind of like that turtle um, design in the front. And this is how these look like. These are so cute. I love the design of this. And I wish Georgia would bring more scent as it has been so gloomy and rainy recently for like the past, I feel like months, but eventually I'll be able to wear them when the sun comes out. But these are really cute and this is how they look on. I don't think it has the names on it or does it? Yeah, it doesn't have the names on it, so I will try to um, link everything down below, like I said, but this is the first pair, and these are really sturdy. I like the quality of it. It feels like it's going to last a long time. I feel like there are a few that I feel like aren't as sturdy as the other ones, so I'll let you know which ones I think are more sturdier than the other ones. These are a pair that I think are really sturdy, and it's going to last you a really long time, and all the prices are really great as well. So that's the first pair of sunglasses. Second pair of sunglasses, again, comes in a black case with a little tab to pull out. And then it also comes in its own little case like this. I also didn't show you, but it does come with this black little envelope. And inside the envelope, it does come with a cloth to clean your glasses. So each one has its own little cloth to clean. But let me just toss this over there. Okay, so this comes with a case as well. Same thing with the magnet. And then it has the little Ziploc bag. So... This pair is just a black pair. And this one, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the design on how it looked on my face, but I still decided to grab it. So this is a pair that I felt like weren't as sturdy as the first ones, just because the first ones have like metal to it. And this is just all plastic. So it's not as sturdy as the first pair, but I feel like it is still really cute. It is just all black. And this is how it looks. It's kind of like a matte, it's not shiny at all. So if you guys like shinier glasses, it's not shiny at all. It's more of like a matte look, but I think these are really cute as well. And like I said, I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it on, but after trying them on, I think they look really cute on. So this is the second pair of glasses that I got. Third pair of sunglasses are these, again, same case. I'm not gonna keep on repeating myself because they're all pretty much in the same type of packaging. So I'm just gonna pull it out for you guys and show you. And these are also a pair of black sunglasses. I just like to go for like black or gold just because it matches with a lot of like my clothes. And these are another pair of plastic sunglasses. It doesn't have like the metal siding or anything, but I feel like these are much more sturdier than the previous ones I just showed you guys, the other black ones I just tried on. Again, like I said, they are plastic, but definitely more sturdier than the previous ones. I feel like these will last you a long time as well. And it has that really pretty gold detailing right here. And I just thought these were really cute. They're kind of like the cat eye. So if you guys are into like that cat eye look, this is really cute. I love it. And this is more of like the shinier look. So it's not matte like the previous ones. So these are a shiny cat eye look and these are really cute as well. Next pair, I think might be another pair of black glasses because like I said, I chose pretty much all black. I'm gonna toss that over there because I'm running out of room here to 
hold everything. So I'm pretty sure these are black as well. Let me see. Yeah, these are another pair of black sunglasses. Let me see if I can get it open. And I also, like I said, like how they put that plastic over it as well so it doesn't get scratched. These are more of like the aviator look and these are another pair that are pretty thin. So I think that these are super fragile. You definitely have to be careful with these. These obviously aren't as sturdy as the previous ones I showed you because it isn't as thick. It is pretty thin. It is metal, but very thin. So as you guys can see, it has a lot of stretch to it. So definitely have to be careful with these. And this is how these look on. And like I said, it is the aviator look. It is more of like a matte, it's not shiny. So I really like how these look as well. So this is the next pair of sunglasses. And the last pair of sunglasses is probably another pair of black ones. I'm not sure. I think I only got those two turtle looking ones, which was blue blocking light and then one pair of sunglasses. I think these maybe have a little bit of like rose gold in it. Let's see. All right, now these are more of like a turtle look as well. It is brown. And again, these are a plastic pair and I love like that mirrored look right there. So these have plastic all around, so it's not like metal. So again, since it is plastic, it isn't as sturdy as um, the metal ones, but I still feel like they will last you a while if you take care of them and you just don't toss them around. Don't be like me and just throw them around in your purse or anywhere. So this is how it looks on. And I love how it looks. It's probably one of my favorite pairs just because I loved that mirror look. I have a lot of sunglasses that have the mirror look, but they've gotten scratched in the front because I really don't take care of a lot of my sunglasses. But now that I have all these new sunglasses, I'm definitely going to take care of them. And Madison's playing the guitar in the background, but this is the last pair of sunglasses that I have to show you guys. All right, guys, so that was the last pair of sunglasses I want to share with you guys from Soho. So please check them out. Like I said, a lot of these glasses are super great quality. If you go for like the plastic um, glasses, they are going to be a little more flimsier than any other glasses they have, like the metal ones. If you guys want a more sturdy one that will last you a longer time, I would suggest getting like the metal ones just because they are much more sturdier and I feel like those will last a lot longer than the plastic ones. But these plastic ones, I love them. If you take care of your glasses, they will last you a long time. But I like all of them, so definitely check them out. I will have all the information linked down below. I just wanna really quickly say thank you so much to Soho's for sending me all these glasses. I'm obsessed and I'm definitely gonna be making a use out of them this spring and also this summer. If you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, check me out over there because I will be taking a lot of pictures with all of these sunglasses. So definitely check them out. Like I said, all the information will be linked down below. But anyways, guys, I need to get the kids dinner ready because we have to leave in probably 30 minutes to take Madison to therapy. So I'm gonna get their dinner ready and I'm not sure how much more I'm gonna vlog. So we'll see how much more footage I get today, but I'm gonna get the kids some dinner, clean up the house a little bit, and then I'll see you guys a little later. All right, guys, so it is like five minutes before I have to leave to take Madison to therapy, but she's finishing up dinner right here. She's picking on her food. She always picks at her Thinking food. Thinking at me? Yeah. Hi. Ah! Did you want to talk to him? Can you say hi? <laughs> no? You gotta hurry up and eat. We got five minutes. Can you say hi? Are you eating your carrots? How are your carrots? Are they yummy? How was school? How was school? Did you make new friends? Oh, carrots. Yeah, they see the carrots. Yummy. You ready to go to therapy? And learn some new stuff? Yeah. Why are you so cute? Why are you so pretty? Why are you so pretty? All right. Clapping? Can I clapping? Yay! You have Cheetos all over your shirt. <laughs> Are you excited about therapy? Hi. Ryan, what are you doing? Are you drawing something? We gotta fix your hair. I should have fixed your hair. Hi. Hi. Aw, look. <laughs> You're a big boy now walking. I love his smile, his smile is so big. Maddie, do you see who it is over there? Hi. Who is it? You see Grady? Maddie, do you see Grady? Maddie. No, you just want to draw? I'm just going to play with this. Play the game. What are you playing? I'm trying to wait for pixel art. 
It looks pixel art. It's, it's a game where you where you press press dots and you have all different kinds of colors and then you can make art with pixels with just squares. Oh, that's cool. And I'm also using my new cup from I don't I never pronounce it right, so I'm not even gonna say it. I did show you guys in one of my previous vlogs, they sent me two cups and I love them because it comes with like the matching straw. So this is the marble one. So I just have a bunch of ice water on here and I like to refill this a few times a day to make sure that I am getting all of my water. So I'm gonna drink my water and start editing this vlog and this lighting is horrible. So we'll see you guys once we get back home again. It's almost downloaded. It's, it's downloaded. Oh, it's almost. All right, guys, so I am now back home. It is maybe 15 minutes before the kids have to go to bed. I apologize about this lighting. My phone, the lighting, sometimes it's really good and sometimes it's horrible. And right now it's pretty bad, but we're going to just stick with it because I've tried to film this like three times and three times the lighting just gets worse and worse. So we are just going to roll with it. But anyways, um, before I close out this vlog, because I need to close out this vlog really soon while I was editing it at Madison's Therapy, it was at like an hour and 15 minutes, which is ridiculous. So I need to get it down. I got it down to like around 40 minutes, I think, but I need to get it down lower. So really quickly, I want to talk to you guys about what I want to do with my cleaning channel. My hair looks horrible. Um, what I want to do with my cleaning channel, because I haven't uploaded over there for like three weeks now and I'm thinking about just going ahead and deleting it and bringing back my cleaning and decluttering and organizing videos over here to my main channel and just bringing it back to what it used to be because it's just way too much and now I remember why I deleted my second channel when I had a second channel a few years ago when I first started YouTube if you guys have been following me for a really long time I did have a second channel and it was a family vlogging channel and I ended up deleting it just because it was way too much work and it was just way too much to keep up with. So I went ahead and deleted it. And then this year I had the bright idea to go ahead and start a second channel because I feel like a lot of people specifically like my cleaning and organizing and decluttering video and that's what they come here for. And they're not really into like my vlogs or cleaning and health and fitness style videos. So I figured by creating a second channel, it'll just make it easier. So whoever only likes those types of videos, they know they can find it over there on that channel. So I went ahead and did that and I've been wanting to do it for a really long time. So I just jumped the gun and I went ahead and did it. And the first month or so I did good. I was uploading twice a week for an entire month. And then I was uploading three to four videos over here on my main channel. And now it's just way too much work. Like I said, it's been about three weeks since the last time I uploaded over there on that channel. So I'm really thinking about just going ahead and deleting that channel, which is all things cleaning and just bringing it back over here to this channel. I feel like I kind of feel like a lot of the other YouTubers who said that they feel like they started just uploading videos that they weren't really enjoying uploading because of the YouTube algorithm and analytics and what was getting the most views and most attention. So not that I don't like um, filming, cleaning, and organizing videos. I love filming those types of videos. But I also enjoy doing a lot of other videos. I don't only like doing one specific video. I know it's really hard to you know, grow your channel when you have a variety of videos and you're not dedicated to like just one type of video. And that's another reason why I started the second channel as well, because I wanted to, Maddie, what are you doing? <laughs> because I wanted to obviously grow my channel. I've been here on YouTube for two years now and I feel like I'm just at a standstill. And I thought that would help me. But to be completely honest, I'm just not happy with where things are going with my second channel. And I just want to bring it back to this channel so i think i'm just going to go ahead and delete that second channel and like i said bring it back over here i think i'm just going to go ahead and um delete that second channel and go back to what my channel was originally always about which is just motherhood lifestyle cleaning a variety of different videos so you're gonna find a ton of different videos over here and a lot of people might not be happy that i'm deleting the second channel and that i'm going back to how my channel used to be but i need to do what i want to do and what makes me happy and what i enjoy doing so that is what i'm gonna do um maybe i'll think about doing it like on a specific day maybe i will do cleaning videos like on a wednesday i'm not 100 percent sure but maybe um just choosing a day so if you are someone who only enjoys my videos for like the cleaning and organizing style videos i can choose a day let's say wednesday and you know every wednesday it'll be either a cleaning or organizing style video and then on the other days it'll be all my other videos so 
let me know in the comments what you guys think i really want to film a spring clean with me soon and like a spring clean and decorate with me and then also like a deep cleaning spring cleaning so i'm gonna try to film at that soon i know i have to clean tomorrow i have some family coming to town to visit they're gonna be staying with us so definitely need to clean up this house so maybe i'll film a cleaning video tomorrow and get that up soon because i haven't really been uploading on my regular schedule which is three times a week i've been all over the place and it's because i have a second channel and i'm just not being able to keep it up so that is what the plan is i hope you guys are not upset with me and i hope you guys will stick around i'm going to try and um upload the content that you want so if you guys want a specific type of video just let me know in the comments and then i will try to film that for you guys but i'm going to be uploading things that i enjoy as well which is everything cleaning organizing shopping vlogs healthy videos i'm also going to be filming soon um some type of workout video and also probably a full day of eating i haven't uploaded any of those videos um lately hey no no maddie maddie no no maddie so i think the last one that i uploaded was probably like a week ago so i'll probably be filming that as well soon so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the changes and not annoyed i know a lot of people do this where they create a second channel it doesn't go well and they delete it and that's what happened to me so Hopefully you guys still enjoy my channel. Go ahead and close this video out because it says I've been talking already for seven minutes. So hopefully you guys enjoy today's mom vlog. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to head over to Sojo's website and check them out. Check out all their awesome glasses. I'm actually wearing their blue light glasses right now. I'm obsessed and I love them. So go check them out. All the information will be linked down below. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye.